Friends, if you want to start your Denfos drive with a start push button and a stop, if you want to stop your Denfos drive with a stop push button and frequency increase and decrease, if you want to connect to one potentiometer, then this mode of wiring is known as three wire mode. If you want to run your Denfos drive in three wire mode, then how to do proper connection? Let's learn. In this setup, we connect one start push button by which when we press the start push button, our motor will run with Denfos drive with the stop push button. When you press the stop push button, Denfos drive will stop and for frequency increase decrease, we connect one potentiometer. First, we connect power wiring L1, L2 and L3 and output of the motor, we connect U, V, W. So power wiring is very simple. Now let's learn how to do proper control wiring connection and function of all control terminal. First you can see here we have control terminals of Denfos drive. First 61, 68 and 69 for RS45 communication. If you want to communicate your Denfos drive to other component or other device, so you can use RS45 communication. Also first we have 12 number point. 12 number point is for plus 24 volt DC. If you want to do your wiring in an PNP mode, in PNP mode you have to use 24 volt DC. So 12 number point is for plus 24 volt DC. 18 number point is first digital input terminal. You can see here we have multiple digital input points. So 18 number point is first digital input. 19 number point is second digital input you can use this digital input for other function and also 20 number point is ground if you do your wiring npn mode then you should use 20 number point for ground or npn mode wiring 27 is third digital input we have total five digital input point so 27 number point is third digital input point you can use any digital input for any function but first you define position 29 is fourth digital input 33 is fifth digital input point and also we have 50 53 and 55 number point for potentiometer if you are reference in the form of voltage then you should use 53 number point as analog input okay and if your analog reference in the form of milliampere then you should use 60 number point as analog reference okay we have potentiometer in which we have voltage in the form of voltage reference then we should use 53 number point also 50 number point is for plus 10 volt dc which we provide in potentiometer also 50 number point is ground at which zero number zero voltage is provided in potentiometer now let's learn a control wiring for frequency increase decrease we connect one potentiometer we have one start push button one stop push button first you need to identify potentiometer terminal at which we need to provide 10 volt supply this potentiometer we have first terminal 10 volt supply second number point is for ground and third number point for analog reference potentiometer output will come in third point okay first we need to provide 10 volt and 0 volt 50 number point in drive we have 10 voltage dc so first we connect 50 number point to potentiometer first terminal 55 number terminal which we have ground point so ground connect in potentiometer second terminal now analog reference with come with potentiometer in last terminal first you should identify potentiometer terminal now analog reference comes with this potentiometer in third point so analog reference comes and connect this analog reference to 53 number points so potentiometer connection is now done now for let's learn three wire mode wiring so 12 number point we have plus 24 volt dc supply so we use plus 24 volt dc because we are doing wiring in pnp mode so first connect in start push button start push button output we connect when you press the start push button so digital input comes in 18 number point so 18 number point we use for start motor now for stop motor we connect from input of start push button you can see here we connect input from start push button 
and connect this input to first stop push button when you press stop push button we connect nc element in this stop push button when you press stop push button so digital input we connect in a 19 number point so 19 number point we use for the stopping of the motor okay now let's learn how to do proper parameter setting for this control wiring for parameter setting first we need to press menu button 0 i am one show again press menu button first we need to enter in third group okay so by increasing we need to enter in third group third group 0 to parameter for minimum frequency so we can set minimum frequency in 0 to 0 3 for maximum frequency at which our motor will run so 0 3 parameter for maximum frequency as we use 53 number point for digital input so first we enter in 15 number point 15 number point for reference selection okay so we use 53 number point as a analog input so we set 1 if you want to use 60 number point as analog input so set 2 if you want to increase degrees for drive port so set 11 okay it's a very simple concept now we enter in fifth group in fifth group 10 parameter for 18 number point digital input so 18 number point we use as a list input okay so we set 9 when you press start push button so list start command given in 18 number point okay when you press start push button so list start command is provided by setting 9 11 number point for digital input 19 number point so by 19 number digital input we use stop function so for cost inverse stop we set 3 okay so digital input 9 we set 3 number point which is stopping function okay so 18 number point command for start list start and 19 number point command for stop okay now when you press start push button your motor will run when you press stop push button your motor will stop it's a very simple wiring and for increasing and decrease of motor speed you can use potentiometer okay can it's a very basic and simple concept if you want to increase decrease your motor speed with drive port so you just set three group 15 number parameter just set 11 okay i hope you clear the concept of dinfos if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet 